Hey guys, so you want to know what's not fun? Middle school. So let's talk about it! You know how in middle school you're always trying to impress people so you can be popular with them? Well in seventh grade, I did just that, and it was for a girl. Now she doesn't know that I'm actually making this, so let's just call her Rebecca. Alright, so Rebecca and I, we became really close friends really fast in seventh grade. We met in English class, and then we actually started dating about a month or two after. Now I'm not going to touch too much on this, because my shy, embarrassing relationship stories can be saved for another video, so let's get back to the topic on hand. So I like this girl a lot, and I didn't want anything negative between her and I to happen. The thing is, it was 7th grade, and I was so naive back then, I didn't even know what was happening, so that's a thing. The point is, I was a naive little kid, because this is my first relationship, and I didn't want to mess anything up, because this could have been the one, the one that was meant to be, and I just didn't want something to happen that would get in the way of that. So I think this is the point in the video where I bring up my on fleek fashion sense that I had back in 7th grade of large khaki pants and shirts that were way too big for me. Sticking to this, I would pretty much just wear anything that Mother Sorry would buy me because Oh, you're good in anything, you handsome little kid. For some reason, she thought that I would look great in stripes. Let me tell you what I did not look good in. That. So she bought me these three long sleeve shirts that were just covered in stripes. And I wore them to school because I look perfect. Oh, little did I know. So after wearing all these obnoxiously colored long sleeve shirts in a row, Rebecca decided to ask me what my fashion sense was, and honestly, I'm surprised that not many people decided to ask that as well. Now, young Tyler decided to take this as a red flag, something bad was happening, and that our entire everything was gonna go away instantly because of this. So what do I do? I make up some completely fake lie as to why I'm wearing all these shirts in fear that something else was going to happen with our relationship together. The lie that I was making up was that I was going to try and win the Guinness Book of World Records for wearing the most amount of stripes consecutively. I know, it's as dumb as it sounds. After this, she just kind of looked at me and I guess agreed with me. I don't know what she was thinking. I mean, I would slap myself in the face for hearing that, but you do you. And guess what? I continued to wear these shirts for over a hundred days I wore them. I was so proud of myself. But I was crying on the inside. Anyway, it started to get really annoying to be wearing these shirts and people were questioning it. And of course I had to try to stick with this lie because I had no other choice. So I continued to wear them until I finally got sick and tired of it and I decided not to wear them anymore. And little do you know, Fun story, Rebecca and I broke up about a week later. So you know how earlier I had that hypothesis that if I didn't wear stripes, something would happen between us? It happened. She seriously broke up with me about a week after I stopped wearing all those striped shirts. And at the time, I immediately just thought that that's the reason why. Now Rebecca and I continue to be amazing friends, and I am so grateful for that. But I brought this up a few weeks ago with her, and she said that I was such a weird kid, and honestly, that's all you thought? I got a message. I never actually did learn why she broke up with me. I actually sent a friend to break up with me, because you gotta remember, it's 7th grade, so... I never learned why, but... I think I understand. If you have any opinions on this topic, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. I love to read your thoughts on this kind of stuff. If you liked it, make sure to show your support, and if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. I'm Tyler, and until next time, I'll see you around.